Bentley Breaks, August 25th. Not a role model. Live show. I was stripped of my childhood. From the age of 16, I walked naked into manhood. Cause my parents were rolling stones. No, they were never in a rock band or on the cover of a magazine. It's just that they never hung around long enough to gather any moss. Trips back and forth to Africa in search of a better life for us Made me feel like the one we had was never good enough The one I gave them was never good enough So me and my sisters learned to harvest ourselves Trying to see the fruits of my labour hanging from my family tree But you see, it's hard to grow trees when you live in a city So by the age of 17 I knew that walking a certain way could have consequences That if my trousers were too high around my waist or my trainers were slightly out of date I might as well be walking with a target painted on my back You learn to do adult shit real quick You learn to add bass in your voice when asked provocative questions You learn the exact amount of time required to hold a man's gaze So we don't refer to you as a pussy yo You learn to read maps Cause if you ended up in the wrong postcode it could have been a rap You learn that death doesn't have an age limit and that Guns are only cool in Playstation and Terminator movies You learn that people can be cruel you finally understand what rent is and how your parents mood slightly changes when it's due Most importantly learn how the system deliberately chooses to forget about you How you went to school for 18 years thinking that you learned so much You didn't learn a thing The only thing you learn is how to stop being a child Cause the adult world isn't designed for us to dream It's not designed for us to only feel love It's a place where a smile is frowned upon Laughter is suspicious and honesty is betrayal It's childhood betrayal Cause I see dead people Men walking into offices to sit in coffins People handed death certificates disguised as salaries My peers work 9 to 5 earning nowhere near enough to survive So it's far from ironic that my brethren said to me That at nights after work she sleeps like a corpse Sometimes I feel like my city is a graveyard She told me that nothing lives in her heart anymore It's a bando Her last lover didn't even take time to pack his stuff His memories are littered all over her floors so give me an average chick over a bad bitch. Now that's BS cause my wife is fine as hell and I got too much love for the colored girls. But my cousin, my cousin wants to be a Kardashian. And that's cool. As long as she acknowledges that not every guy is a Kanye West and that there's very minimal reality shown in a reality show. Will she recognize that face in the mirror once the cameras go off? But you try to convince a confident 21 year old black girl that perfection doesn't exist and that it's merely a figment of our exaggerations. Are we still aiming for the same goals that we did when we were kids? Cause back then we made goalposts out of jumper stones and sticks and it was still lit. Now we shoot for the stars, never once taking time to admire them. Or is it maybe life moves too fast? Cause one minute we're in the playpen, then the playground, then it's playstations, playboys and the playhouse. But we hardly play now. Some of us play the lottery. My wife's mum thinks that one day she'll win the lottery. How do I convince her that with seven kids she's already won it seven times? How can young parents viewing their kids as a mistake not negatively impact on how we would eventually view ourselves so we walk around like we were never meant to happen like our lives were just mistakes on a test that they failed like our lives were just mistakes on a test that they were too high to take seriously you see I'm still searching for the familiarity of that red and white stripe because I'm still searching for Wally I'm still trying to find Nemo I'm still searching for the meaning of life or is life about searching for meaning Cause you see I'm finally the same age as some of the teachers that I had in school And I suddenly regret how much pressure I put on them to understand everything that we didn't Cause we were just poor kids with rich dreams Dreams so expensive our own parents couldn't afford to believe in them Making us feel like they didn't believe in us I'm not a role model But my city is bleeding And the system keeps reopening the wounds I'm trying to use my words to heal I quickly realised that notes with the Queen's face on it make terrible plasters I'm not a role model. But if poetry's dead, then how am I here? I'm not Shakespeare. But I bet you probably studied my work last semester. Don't confuse me with your dead ass lecture. I'm not a role model. Peace. What's good? The Sully breaks. Make sure you come out to my live show, August 25th, London City. Appreciate. Not a role model. Big up SBTV, don't forget to subscribe below. See, I saw my deal on the 8th, tweeted about it straight away. So as soon as I got back to the ends, I made a few phone calls and made my way to link a few friends. All day I was getting constant retweets and replies. I keep thinking if I hadn't have tweeted that news of my deal, would I still maybe be alive?